It was during COVID when I found the Wim Hof method. I wasn't in a good place back then. I was just not happy. I didn't have a reason to come out of bed in the morning. I lived in a 12 square meter room and that was kind of all I had because of COVID we weren't allowed to do anything else. I had been researching the Wim Hof method for a while, but as it is exposure to cold water and I had never done it before, it was just not something that I felt safe to do by myself. But at exactly the right time, I found this post on Facebook where an, actually a group of people invited others to join them doing the Wim Hof method. These were all people that lived in the same student campus as I did and it was a perfect match. It took me some time, but I started to love this new routine. I would go every morning and go, uh, we would first do the breathing exercises and then we would go swim in the Amstel. And we actually had days that there was full snow everywhere and we would still go. I was able to hold on to this routine for two to three months, but unfortunately I lost it when my brother passed. It was just something that I couldn't do at that time. But since I've done that for a while, I am still very drawn to water, especially when it's in nature and when it's cool. So that gets us to today. Because the cold exposure even feels better when you're in a beautiful place in nature, my trip to Slovenia had one goal and that was to find a lake to swim in. Bovec is a beautiful town in Slovenia. It's actually my favorite town. It's this beautiful outdoor town where just everyone is really into outdoor sports and there's beautiful places everywhere. And one of these places is the Soka River, which goes right next to Bovec. This will be our first try. Hiking along the Soka River is really peaceful. The water goes very fast, but the surroundings are so beautiful and the color of the water is insane. It is an amazing place, but unfortunately not the right place to go in for a dive because of the currents it's just not a good idea but we remembered that we saw a sign for a lake the day before so we decided to get back to the car and drive to there this lake was another very beautiful place but again not the right place to go to dive in we didn't know this but it was actually a lake that was used to generate electricity so it was not a place for swimming we did know that there had to be a waterfall somewhere around so we decided to go look for that it wasn't an easy hike because it was pretty steep and slippery but the view made it all worth it. We found the perfect spot. The Wim Hof method taught me what my body is capable of. It taught me how to deal with stress and it even taught me to control my breath when I start hyperventilating. This is something that actually hasn't been an issue for me anymore since I have done the Wim Hof method for those two to three months. And every time when I go back into the water right now, I feel so grounded. It reminds me that I have to do it way more often. It is sometimes a bit of a logistic hassle, but I have to make time for it because it actually helps me so much and it makes me feel so good. Have you ever tried the Wim Hof method? Please let me know in the comments. Pass me 